Liberia's capital, Monrovia, today just a shadow of its former self. Bitter fighting between government troops and rebels here during the country's recent civil war left buildings and infrastructure in ruins. But more than six years after the end of war, there's still very little electricity, running water or sewers. Basic infrastructure and service delivery to the Liberian people have become extremely limited, thereby undermining the possibility for economic growth, development, as well as accelerated development and investment. The slow pace of progress is frustrating for many on the streets of Monrovia. Here, the euphoria that swept Africa's first elected female head of state to power in 2006 is long gone. Still no jobs. We say, they, they told us that companies were coming. Everybody was prepared around here to go look for a job one way or the other. And there's nothing going on. We're just living on promises. No current. There's no electricity. We can't even use the machine for repairing the shoes. There's no power, no water. No current, no current, no water. We need the government, but the government to help. We need the government to help, so that we're not just sitting on the sidewalk, so we are appealing to them. We are self-supporting. We don't have money to go to school. We don't have money to attend university. Change is coming, though, to the streets of Monrovia. Chinese contractors are repairing the roads and employing Liberian workers. For the president, as well as international donors, expanding the electricity network is the next big step. Well, as you well know, we've said over and over again that electricity is one of our key priorities, but it's not an activity that can just be done right overnight. But that's little consolation for Monrovia's poor and jobless. Joseph, for one, is still waiting for peace to translate into prosperity. Gunfire, you should expect insecurity. But this is time there should be peace, actually, and, uh, uh, and hardship should be alleviated. But the hardship has increased. Sat on a refuse heap, playing drafts, the long wait for an end to hardship in Monrovia goes on.